Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, and I'm just laying here getting my anointed Sunday. Oh, see, I'm still anointed nap. I'm actually preparing to go to the wake and funeral of one of our sisters in Christ, Sister Barbara Foster Simpson at our church. I loved her and her Johan, Johan. I really do love her, miss her, so I'm going to go and pay my respects and see her and go to her homecoming service. You know, this is going to be the first funeral since my diagnosis I was able to go to. Um, I had another person in my family, my extended family, pass away about two days after my diagnosis and I couldn't even attend the funeral because I was just still in such fear and I was afraid if I saw the casket I would start visualizing myself in a casket and have nightmares so out of fear I couldn't even go yeah oh, sorry guys I'm tired I'm just sleeping I kind of took uh, one of my muscle relaxers I had a little bit of pain yesterday when I came back uh, for the movies with my husband. So I took it a little bit too late, around 1.30 in the morning. So when I was up go trying to go to Sunday school and church, so I was tired. But overall, I'm just I'm a little bit, um, I'm taking today moment by moment because tomorrow I know I go to the doctor and it's where I get all the results and it's where I get my treatment plan I find out if I'm going to lose my right breast, part of my right breast all of both my breasts it's a lot to take in and I just need to just stay closer to God and people of God that's my suggestion is that when you're going through things like this, you need to just stay as close to God as you can. So every time those thoughts come through your mind, you get in a bad mood, or pain happens, just think about God, or just have godly people in your life. You've got to have godly people to pray you through. If you don't, you're going to be lost because I would be nowhere. I wouldn't be able to make it. If it weren't for God, I think about where I was, you know, four weeks ago when I first discovered this lump and where I'm at now. And I'm able to do so much more today than I were back then, only because of God. So, you know, I just encourage people, whatever you're going through, to get surrounded by people who know God and can get a prayer through. They don't know God, can't get a prayer through. But if you get people can bring a prayer through, they can help you and lift you up and pray and just tell God. Like I, my prayer today, this morning, God was increase my faith. I felt my faith wavering. Like I felt like it was like, uh, 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 was teetering. Because I'm like, uh oh, okay, it's news day. So I went from being low from the diagnosis to starting getting myself back high again. And then back, uh, not low, but just, but I have to remember that 1 Corinthians 2 and 5 lets me know not to put my faith in the wisdom of men, but the power of God. So no matter what, the power of God can make me whole. The power of God, even when it looks like, oh no, so I find out if I lose my heart, whole, right breast, left breast, if I would need chemo, if I need radiation, I mean, all those things that you gotta find out tomorrow, I realized that all of it still falls under the power of God. Nothing's too small, nothing's too big for God. So, whenever I get afraid, power of God. When I get Weak, the power of God. And I ask God for the peace of God. 
so that I can handle this tomorrow. So keep me in your prayers. And I'll give you an update as soon as I'm able to. Emotionally, because I don't know what to go through tomorrow. So it might not be something I can emotionally go through. But um, just keep me in prayer. And I love you guys and thanks a lot for your support.